Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> um. Here's a dog. And he's gonna go boo boom. Yeah. This is a perfect weapon to kill these dogs. Definitely. Hello. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Reload? Oh. Doesn't reload? That's crappy. Um. Yeah. Let's continue. Whoa. This guy has something. Um. What? No, he has something. There we go. Key. And he holds holding a document. Written order. So let's go over here. There's a gate at the bottom that we can't open just now, so we're gonna go back to where this key is for. It's all good stuff, you know. It's really sad how in this city it doesn't matter where you go, there's always some zombie or, or something. So it's really messed up. I try to avoid the snakes. I really don't want to deal with them. I don't want to deal with the snake. Snake! Huh? Herbs. Let's see. I know I'm not mixing the red and blue and green uh, on this playthrough, but honestly, I feel like I don't need it th at this much at this point of the game. Because I, you know, I, honestly, we're getting very close to the end. And it's not really that long, and oh boy, not this thing. Ugh. Oh no. I don't remember. There are some examples on the right of how it goes, but I can't recall if it was like this or. Oh man. No, this is totally wrong. <laughs> Anyways, you can see them right there on the right. It says white, white, no black, black, or on the other side, or... Uh, let's see. Let me try different things. Right here. Like this. Let's see what this does. Wow! I got it on one shot. <laughs> You can also open it up and uh, you get a, uh, like the fountain starts uh, throwing water at the top or stuff like that, but it's not necessary to do that unless you just want to have fun or whatever. Whoa. See that at the bottom? All of a sudden it disappears. I've always noticed that on this play, uh, playing this game. I don't get what that was, but... Let's just keep going and forget about it. You know, because it's probably nothing. <laughs> yeah. It's probably nothing. Oh, zombies at the cemetery. How typical. How typical. Because, you know, people don't deteriorate when they're buried. Their brains aren't eaten by... by worms, you know? They still have a brain. Right. They were probably probably buried yesterday or something, I don't know. Oh, we got a lot of stuff here, so... Uh, let me mix all this stuff up and get everything ready. And I'll be right back in a second. Alright, so here we are again. We got first aid spray here. So we're going to be using the lighter, I believe it's the last time you use it. So she's going to be throwing it away or, and stuff like that. Oh. Uh, so here, I, I got this thing here. So, just in case you don't freak out and say, where do you got that? <gasps> oh my god, where do you got that? And it's kind of obvious, it glows a lot, so it's not that hard to find. So, we burned this, and we noticed there's a small hole there. So there's something behind this. Throw away the lighter. And now we use this 
Iron pipe. I'm pretty sure this thing, this thing should still be hot, but you know. That's video game logic. What can you say? Uh, we got stuff here. Documents, supervisor's report. Uh, we got an iron ink ribbon. Uh, more documents. No, it's this one. Facts from the headquarters. We got a device here that we can't use. There's a dead guy in here. He's really dead. I assure you. Really dead. You gotta emphasize, really dead because, you know, dead people is not enough. They get up, they do stuff. And I don't have any space, so I'll be right back and I'll make some space. Alright, so I can grab this key now. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have grabbed all that stuff, but, you know. Alright, uh, so let's get out of here. Well, <clears throat> all supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors, return immediately. Over. Hmm. Strange. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Ah! Another mutant! So, Nikolai is still alive and he's trying to kick some ass around, doing his secret stuff, acting all weird. Whoa. I hate this part. <laughs> What's going on? Whoa! <gasps> oh, oh. oh my. What is that? Didn't I say that the earthquakes weren't important at all? <laughs> Why? Uh. What? Okay. Ah, ah. Can't run away, damn it. Knock down these, uh, whoa. These lights. It'll make an electric current there. Whoa, I'm almost dead. This guy's not easy. I wish I knew the easier way to kill this thing. But I don't know it. Damn it. 
Damn, don't you die? So these are ready to be knocked down. You can kill them even before this happens, but... So I'm a little more ready for this guy now. I'm gonna take him a lot serious. I don't have a choice. <laughs> so here we have the thing again. What's going on? Whoa! Skirt, skirt, skirt. Oh, oh, oh. oh. What is that? I don't know. Here we go. Didn't want to waste these, but I don't have a choice. Gotta hit this guy hard. We don't have a choice but to fight anyway, so... Darn it. So fast. Sweetness, sweetness, sweetness. Out of here. Out of here and sweetness. <laughs> yeah, I should have been more ready for this monster earlier, but unfortunately, that's how it goes. Oh boy, Spidey. Spidey, leave me alone. Oh, my spider sense are tingling. Uh, go away. Even throw that thing at a distance is terrible. Alright, so we, since we have the other keys, now we can go to the other side where earlier I said that we can go further. Uh, sure, whatever. Now well, we got space for these. 
Alright, so we're getting close to the point of the game where whatever choice you make will determine the ending of the game. Um... Let me just get there and explain. <laughs> As usual, you'll have two choices, so... <gasps> oh, sorry. Got a hiccup with it right there. <laughs> uh... Alright, so now you can shoot the lights, and uh, fire will come down and burn these guys. Let's see if I can make that happen. At least they're not that... Whoa, there are. They're not that many anyways. So you can just shoot the light and burn them, but it's just for show, I guess. It kills them fast, I think. Um... Yeah, so this is the only choice of the game that matters. The other choices don't really matter at all, unless you want to get all the items from the me from the nemesis. Uh, but that's pretty much it. For the rest, this is the only choice that really matters. I've already uh, played through this game a bunch of times, and I only noticed that the ending changes when... I choose one of these two choices that are gonna seen right now. Oh, so this guy has something important. Magnum bullets. Awesome. We're sort of totally gonna need it at this point now. So we're getting close to the end of the game. This is the final area. There's stuff to do here, but you know, it's just there's nothing beyond this. Alright, so here's the last choice, or the choice that matters. No. <clears throat> the ending that I want to get through this is a choice that I'm going to be making. You either push him off or jump off. I'm going to jump off. Alright, I just like this ending better, and when we get to the end of the game, when I'm on the, when the credits are rolling, I'm gonna explain to you how little difference there, well, not little, but uh, how big of a difference, I guess, it is to jump off the bridge or just push him off. It's really awesome, the results. I think there's like a little cutscene ahead uh, on the other side of this thing, but I'm gonna get that later. For now, I'm gonna go into this room first. Man, ice cream trucks are passing by today like crazy. So we got a box here we can save and stuff like that. Alright. So there's a puzzle down here that first time I went through it was like the worst puzzle in the whole universe. Uh, but I, I have a notebook right here that that's how I wrote down all the patterns that you uh, can make here because it's random. I think there are like four or five patterns. So... Let's see which one I get here. There's one that I know by memory, but... Nah, I don't know this one. I'm just gonna read it, uh, what I wrote here. Alright, this one is number... Number three. Alright. So we're gonna move, uh... A. Right. second left. Uh, no, it's right, right, right. Right. Left. Okay. This 
this one. I hope I have this thing right. Let me do this one off screen and I'll be right back. Alright, so here it is. Alright, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.